Hi, this is Dow Too Fast here. In this video, we will be replacing the headlight on this Toyota Tacoma. This one is a 2009. One problem with this factory headlight is the daytime running light and turn signal combo. Uh, the reflector inside gets really hot and it burns the lens. And I'll give you a close-up shot in a minute. Uh, but basically, in this video, we will be replacing it with uh, a pair of brand new headlights. They are aftermarket but you can get these on Amazon or eBay for $90 to $110, not too expensive. So let me show you what I'm talking about with the uh, headlight that we have here. If you look right here, this is the daytime running light, turn signal combo. As you can see, the front lens is burnt. And I know later year models, they did redesign this housing where they push the reflector back further so it won't be so hot. Here are the replacement headlight. As you can see, this looks just like the factory one. Uh, we paid about $90 on Amazon. And again, you can buy this on eBay if you want. It even comes with all the light bulbs. Here's a look at the back. First thing you need to do is remove the front grill and you'll need to remove the two 10 millimeter bolts here. There are two clips that you also need to remove. Now just lift the grill up and it'll come out. On each headlight there is a plastic clip you also need to remove. Now carefully pull this trim piece back. On the top of the bumper we have three plastic clips you need to remove those. Right at the corner of the headlight, if you pull back the bumper slightly, you'll see a 10 millimeter bolt right here. You need to remove that. Inside the fender liner, we also have a 10 millimeter bolt you need to remove. Now pull the liner out and look for a bolt that's holding the headlight in. Okay, it's really hard to show where that bolt is, but on the new one, I want to show you the bolt actually goes in on the side here. So in the vehicle, the bolt is angled this way, you need to fit a socket in here and remove that. This is the best shot I can give you, but you see that gray plastic L-shaped bracket there. On the left side of it, there is a 10 millimeter bolt that you need to remove. And it's a bit difficult to get to because there's not a lot of space behind it, but get yourself a quarter inch uh, socket and you'll be able to get to it. On the top of the headlight, we have two 10 millimeter. Remove these two. Next thing you need to disconnect the connectors that goes to the light bulbs. To disconnect the headlight connector, just pull this back and it'll come out. Okay, to remove the headlight, you want to pull this tab up and then carefully tilt this headlight forward. Don't forget to disconnect this corner one also. On the new headlight, connect the corner parking light. We actually had some difficulty getting the headlight in. Uh, what we had to do is reach behind the fender and push that plastic tab upwards and then it will allow this headlight to fit properly. But right now as you can see, all the tabs are in place. This is also aligned. So we'll go ahead and tighten down the bolts. Go ahead and plug the headlight harness. Lights 
reconnect the daytime running light. There is one clip you need to remove from the old headlight. It's this one right here, and then transfer it over to the new one. Got it. Okay, here's our clip installed on the new headlight. Here we've gone ahead and removed the passenger side, and we'll repeat the same procedure. Now we're installing the new headlight. With these new replacements, uh, don't forget there is a plastic film that you need to remove. You don't want to forget that. Reinstall the trim piece here. Reinstall the clip. Place the grill back on. Reinstall the two plastic clips and also the two 10 millimeter. Here's a look at the new headlight. As you can see, it's nice and clear. The whole install took about maybe an hour, an hour and a half. Okay, the job is complete, so let's turn on the headlight, and you can see they both work. Perfect. Well, I hope you enjoy watching this installation video. If you have any questions or comments, leave one in the comment section, and don't forget to click on a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.